Hi everyone! Thanks for joining me and clicking on this video. So I've got a release of, I believe, 14 journals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, I have 14 journals that I've been working on over through the holidays and Christmas break and all of January when I had time. So all of them are a little bit different style. Although I'm going to group the videos um, based on their likeness. So these are uh, done with cinch wires. And they're the ones that have two sets of wires on them. And I'll do a flip through of all of them. They're all very similar, but they all are different in ways. They all have, um, you know, individually, you know, like customized uh, you know dangles or you know tassels and all of them had a little bit different style these are all well loved uh, little golden books they are this one's very well loved um, it's been read and uh, very worn <laughs> and uh, but it builds character on it right uh, this one's a little bit newer, um, but none of them are brand, brand new. These are all thrifted, unwanted um, golden books that I've picked up, picked up along the way. All of the papers and ephemera, everything in these little golden books are all thrifted, um, recycled uh, papers and whatnot. So let's do a flip through. Um, I'll be very quick so that the video is not really, really super long. But uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so let's start with the little critter. I just love little critter. Uh, these were my kids' favorite books growing up, and that's why when I saw them, I picked them up, and I was just, um, I'm thrilled with them. I, I love them. Uh, so these are kind of chunky already, and these are one inch. Uh, O-rings, uh, rings on these binders. And then this tassel is kind of made with all, uh, this is like a matching game piece. I have a video of how I made these. Uh, this is a button, there's some beads, this is a bingo chip, this is a game piece here. Uh, and these are, these are glass beads actually, these two here and whatnot. So, and it's just on here with uh, a little class that you can take off. So let's take a look at these. Let me zoom down just a tad. <clears throat> Get these out of the way. They all have like a washy edging on them. It's all glued down. So let's take a look. This one here had some writing. This one here had some writing on the bottom. And uh, so I Put this um, it's like a teachers I think uh, border to make their poster boards uh, so I put that down there I just thought it was really cute okay so let's go through all of these pages lots and lots of writing room lots of uh, very like vintage uh, papers this is uh, vintage wrapping paper on cardstock poem book. This is wallpaper. Just a whole variety of pages and the whole entire story is in all of these books. This is a cat in a hat. I think I got it. Um, uh, where did I pick this up at? This is actually, what date is this? Well, it doesn't say the date on it, but I picked it up somewhere. I don't remember old uh, like gemstone book all of my scrapbook papers all thrifted this is wrapping paper book pages this is like some kind of an ordering book all of the envelopes and stuff all have little goodies in them like either leftovers from the book <clears throat> uh, book pages and things like that there's uh, little tags in here. It's a very vintage book page here. <clears throat> C 
cards, game cards, address book pages, card stock, playing cards, lots of different types of books. wrapping paper, ledger paper, here's a CD uh, holder so it's filled with all kinds of just little goodies, flash cards, wallpaper border, the work basket, this is adult like coloring book pages, again envelope filled with goodies, this is stationery, scrapbook paper, book page on how to paper mache, bingo papers, page dividers, recipe book pages, that's a vintage one, really old vintage one, recipe cards, this is actually like a page out of a baby book actually, I just love it because it's really thick. <clears throat> How to write more flashcards. This is cardstock. This is out of a uh, like oh has crossword puzzles and search words. It's a vintage card index card divider. They're really thick. That folds out. This is one of those, um, is it Betty Crocker? Or not Betty Crocker. Um, it's like a Betty Crocker index where it has a whole bunch of cards. This one's all about plants. Betty Crocker. <laughs> it's a poem book. Flash card. Here, a um, little belly band with some goodies stuck in there. And that is the back. All right, so there is that one. So that one is just say please, and uh, really fun, fun, fun. Okay, now we have Grover's own alphabet. So there was a some really heavy duty sticker that I couldn't get off on this one. So I put this little a piece of like embroidered quilted uh, flowers. I just thought it was really cute here. Uh, this is the letter G. Um, as you can tell, this one is very aged and very used, very well loved. So then I put this washi here on the edge. Again, it's glued down. Here's the little little charm that I made for this one. Some beads. Here's a little metal um, bead here. It's um, like a cancer awareness. <clears throat> And this is a button, but then I made it like a two-way button. Just really cute. Again, it's on there with a little clasp. Lobster clasp. So let's go through this one. This one had some writing on the inside, so I made a library uh, pocket and then put in a library card. Put a little birdie here. These are... Um, I got at a garage sale and a thrift store two different times. Uh, the project, uh, what do they call these? Life Project Life cards. So these are the big ones. Um, this is Bridge, a Bridge Page Vintage. And like I said, all of these pages are um, uh, in order. I love this one with the alphabet. It's just so cute. Wallpaper, poem book, index card, again it's filled with goodies, the envelope, some uh, really old um, order sheets, some real thin yellow tracing paper, love this uh, vintage book that has green paper, flash card, there's a little pocket. Oh, I forgot to stick something in there. I will stick uh, something in that pocket. Here's some vellum with some flowers. This is uh, like handmade paper. It's like an invitation. This is filled with some goodies in there. Here's 
Here's another pocket that I forgot to fill. Oh my gosh, I will put some stuff in those. There's two of them. I, I must have missed them. This wrapping paper. Here's the baby book page. I just love those. It's got lots of lines to write on. Here is a train switching record. Um, it's really vintage. Message pad. Maze pages. Here's a, a little bag filled with goodies. Here is, uh, oh, this is a, a planner page. Index card. This is some tablet paper with little tiny feet on it. Here's a little recipe card. Here's an old Yahtzee. Um, I have I have some of these for sale in my Etsy shop. If it's not showing up, then I've ran out and I will have to relist some more. But these are, I think, an oops um, because you don't see pink and then some of the squares are missing. It's, they're really cool. This is like a laminated school card. I got a bunch of those at a garage sale. Address book page. Here's a tic-tac-toe page. Uh, vintage from a uh, game. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the Betty Crocker step-by-step -step recipe box um, card. Another book page. Sudoku. Yahtzee page. little pocket here with some goodies in it and a uh, vintage uh, bingo card. So there is that one, Grover's Own Alphabet. All right, so that's those two, got two more to go. This one is so, so cute. Um, so this one is dinosaurs and I happen to um, find these um, kind of like rubber keychains. Uh, I don't remember where I thrifted them from, but uh, I just thought it was so appropriate to make a charm with that. Here is some... I got these little um, felt balls. I th no, they're wool, I think. Um, little wool balls from AliExpress. And so I made them into charms with a button on the bottom, and it's just got some um, sari silk here, and few little beads and buttons so again that's on a claw this is a little bit larger lobster claw and so let's take a look at this one let's move these up a little bit more so I got some room all right let's take a look at this one this one's well loved too all right here is one of those uh, cards from the plant box tic-tac-toe. This one's got um, some definition, little kids definition books. I saw a dinosaur, so I cut that one out. And then here is just a little uh, dinosaur that I fussy cut out of a kid's book. Bingo. Music paper. Flash card. Here's a, um, I don't know. Oh, it's a porcupine. Baby porcupine. It's just so cute. Tablet paper, writing paper. There's some more of those oops. See how it's uh, kind of off the edge there. Um, then here's some like, uh, you know, when you're archaeology type uh, vellum. So I just thought it was really cool because it goes with the dinosaurs. Like I said, all the book pages are here. This is wallpaper. Bridge card recipe card, poem, here's the Betty Crocker card, address, tablet paper, more flash cards, writing paper, Yahtzee, here's the envelope filled with goodies, Sudoku page, envelope filled with goodies, cat in the hat, baby pages, Love these um, index cards that have the colors on them. I hope I can find some more sometime. Wrapping paper. 
playing card, guest book page that flips out, ledger paper, card stock, here's some puzzle page, here's a baggie full of goodies, honeydew list, I just love this pink pad, ledger, this is a brown ledger, little pocket here with the flip up. This is, um, I believe this is mu to write music on. Inspiration page, uh, order form, this is a vintage book page out of an encyclopedia, graph paper, vintage bingo card, the train switching page, some paper, there's some more of that yellow tracing paper, so cool, I love it. Some Snoopy paper. I think these were like, um, I don't know, peanuts feature, I don't know, published. I'm not sure what they were. It's just how to do things. Here's a page here you can glue together, make a pocket. Uh, vintage alphabet uh, page. Here's a project life card. This folds out. And again, all the pages from these golden books are in here. This is an adult um, coloring book page. It's cardstock. Here's a cutout, and this is a heavy cardstock, so you can write this message on there. So cute. Here is um, I found this uh, book page in a children's book, and it's about prehistoric uh, dinosaur or you know prehistoric insects. I thought that was really cool to put in here, and then that is the back. So there is that one dinosaurs and then we have one more to go this one is Anatasia and it is so cute um, I found a thrifted I don't know I found these like gold rings I just thought that was really cute for like you know a ring um, I found this snapped sets of um, you know, for putting on clothing, and I just thought it's just really cute element. So um, here is also like a red house, which like castle. Here is a ladybug and some lace, and here's a shiny vintage button. Um, there's a little B that says A for Anastasia, and here's some homemade, um, you know, a ruffle that I made with some lace and then the blue. I just thought that was really cool to go with her her blue shirt here. Um, really cute. Just really, really, really cute here. And then this is a game piece. One of those uh, game pieces. Oops. Trying to focus it. <laughs> there we go, right here. And then this is just tied on with just a little bit of um, vintage sheet uh, on here. So it's just tied on there. All right, so this one uh, is Anastasia, and then this one was really good on the inside. I left it. So it starts out with a Project Life card, um, poem from a kid's book, and the scene is winter here, so that's why I picked this uh, winter poem on here. And then I kind of put these snippets through here, kind of related to the book. This is a baby book. Um, paper. Here's some of that yellow tracing paper. And the story is all here. Graph paper. Here's some um, of those little kind of like loaded pockets, I think they called them. Here's a baby page. Baby paper bingo card. Here's a vintage uh, how-to book page. <coughs> Excuse me. Brown ledger paper. Here's a little cutout from a children's book page. It says Queen on it. It's just tucked in here. Some stickers. Flash card. Some more paper. This is a uh, wallpaper. Another flash card. Here's an envelope, and there's a bunch of goodies in there. Here is some uh, velvet paper. It's really pretty stuff. Uh, writing, writing manuscript, that's what it says on it. 
little sticker here. This is kind of, um, I don't know where I got this paper, but it's glossy and it's just got a really pretty flower and it. it's really pretty. This is wrapping paper. Oh, this is some more wrapping paper. I left it so you can uh, do what you want or you can tear it out, use it. Use Sudoku paper, some heart pick cardstock. Here's a, the pink Yahtzee page. Adult coloring book. And a little uh, cardstock here. This is some more cardstock. And there you go. So there is that one. This one has a little bit lesser uh, pages as some of these other ones. Here's the dinosaur one. And then just say please. So you can tell that uh, the Anastasia one is a, the thinner of the four. But I will have all the information uh, in the listing for all of these. Um, so there we go. I know I went through them fast, but I didn't want to make it really long. And then I'll do another video a little bit later on with the uh, the other ones uh when they become available. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. All right. Bye.